and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Kiki London have a new release and that is their new Pro Range brush set. And I'm going to be showing you each brush and what you can be doing with the brushes, along with showing you two designs using each of the brushes. As I'm a brand ambassador for Kiki London, you can find my direct link to their website, which is affiliated along with my discount code for you to use in the description box below. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification on and please like this video. These things really do help out my channel. Thank you. So whilst I show you two small video clips of these brushes, I do want to say that I'm using a new phone for all of my filming and pictures. So you might notice a small difference. I am still working out some settings though. So please bear with me just for a while. These nail art brushes have been designed with high quality, soft, flexible vegan bristles made with synthetic fibers, combined with a sleek, slim and very beautiful look to them. These professional brushes have been designed to be durable and easy to work with, complete with a matte finish. All of these brushes are easy to clean and come with a cap to protect and prevent damages to the bristles. They do come in the tubes and you'll receive a leaflet with information on each of the brushes. So I'll go through the brushes. To start with, we have a detailer brush. All brushes, as I've said, have caps, which I'm so happy with, and they do fit onto the ends of the brushes. I love my brushes to have caps. Then we have the striped liner brush. This brush set will be on pre-sale first, priced at $24.99, and that is UK pounds. And then normal price sale will be $29.99, and then each priced at $7.99. Then we have the angled brush. The sleek matte black finish is gorgeous. They look so professional and will look stunning on anyone's nail desk. And I love that they are very unique. Then we have the ombre brush. You'll see that each brush has the Kiki London logo and then what each brush is. And this is something that I really do like. and I'm really pleased to see it on them. And then we have the round brush. Five absolutely gorgeous looking brushes. Now with freehand nail art, I'm really not the best, but if I can achieve these nails, then anyone can. All of these nail designs are going to be done on my silicon hand and most of the nail tips I've already prepped using the Kiki London base coat for all of the nail tips. The first two designs I'm going to be using the detailer brush. The first nail base colour is the gorgeous Just Lavish. Once it had been cured I removed the tacky layer, I stamped this design in a black stamping polish and I then top coated. I then used the 180 grit nail buffer from Kiki London to remove the shine. I'm going to be using the detailer brush to fill in some of the areas using gel polish and they are purple dusk, vintage white and pretty in pink. I've added some of each of the colours to my palette tile and I'm just going to add one colour then I'll flash cure add the next color flash cure again and then once I've added all the color I'll do a full cure so a detailer brush is great for small detail work as well as shapes and patterns lettering outlining characters and logos the short bristles of this brush offer great control for precision detail work this brush is five millimeters in length now with a design like this you could also do reverse stamping or create a nail decal all using stamping polish now out of all of the stamping plates I have this was the only image that I felt was usable with gel polish and I will say that just lavish and purple dusk look amazing together now my hands have tremors in them so freehand nail art is much more difficult for me but I was happy as I could be with how this turned out the brush worked really well and it feels really nice in my hands as well so off camera I did add some dots again using the detailer brush and I've also top coated as well it's not perfect by any means but I'm happy and I love all the colors together as well as the stamping design so on this nail tip I've already applied the rubber base coat and I'm going to be using the gorgeous color of mystic noir I've already applied a small bead 
to my palette tile and I'm just going to apply a nice even layer to the nail. So on social media I see a lot of manis created where there is a big gap around the sidewall and cuticle area and I know people are very wary on using dark pigmented colours as they don't want to flood the areas. So by using the detailer brush I can pick up a small bead of the Mystic Noir and I'm going to take that gel polish closer to the cuticle and sidewall areas. Using the detail brush to do this just makes the nail look so much better. Now you will also see me feather the gel polish down so there's so it's all blended together and there's no shadowing. Now for curing I am using the Kiki London UV LED 96 watt lamp. This lamp is absolutely amazing and I 100% recommend it. So once I'm happy I'll cure and then I'll just repeat the same again. You can do this with every layer of gel polish from the base coat to the colour to the top coat and it will really make a difference to the whole mani. Obviously these brushes are created for nail art but sometimes it's doing the basic things like applying the colour etc to really make the nail art stand out so much more. Now with my shaky hands this isn't something I normally do, I always tend to find that I flood the area more. However the Kiki London brush, I don't know what's different, maybe it's the length of the bristles but I did find it so much easier and it will definitely be something that I continue to do in the future. So this nail is all cured, top coated. Mystic Noir is just a beautiful colour and you can really see the glitter running through the colour. It looks so nice being so much closer to the cuticle and side walls. So that's the detailer brush and I have to say I really do like it. The next brush I'm going to be sharing with you is the Stripe Liner Brush and this is where my nail art really falls down. So my base colour is the Very Pretty Mrs Grey. I'm going for a plaid design. So I'm going to use the rest of the Mystic Noir on my palette tile along with Bridal Red which is a fab bright cream red and then from the Platinum Collection Hollow Ring. Now I shouldn't have used this colour and you'll see why. I've added each colour to my palette tile so for creating straight lines I'll load up my brush but I don't want to have a bead blob at the end so I'll just coat the brush and then my tip for creating lines is to put the tip of the brush down first then lay the brush down and then pull the brush straight off the end of the nail now with platinum gel polishes they are full of glitter bits and it ran out halfway so that's why I probably wouldn't use the platinums again for this. Now because of the tremors in my hands doing straight lines is very hard for me but if I can achieve these sort of outcome you'll be able to create amazing lines. This brush was very easy to do the lines with. Now I will add a second line going across the nail as well. Now normally I would just bring out a stamping plate to do this type of work but I know not everybody is comfortable using stamping plates. I'll flash cure each line and then I'll do a full cure at the end. The second colour will be the bridal red which I will say was much easier to use being that it is a cream gel polish. Plaid designs are very popular in autumn and winter months and can look amazing. And then the final colour will be the Mystic Noir. Now if these were on my nails I would do two layers of top coat because it might be a little bit lumpy bumpy. Now for cleaning all of these brushes I'm just using my gel cleanser. You can also use isopropyl alcohol or acetone whichever you prefer. Now even though my lines aren't the best this brush was nice to use. Just mix up some colour combos. I did get this colour combo from Pinterest. The second design I'm going to use the stripe liner brush for. My base colour is the stunning nude. This is tailor made. Most of the base colours are two coats unless I say differently. And then I'm using the amazing Hazel Knight and then Black Heart. And I'm going to be doing Animal Print which is a super easy nail art des design to do. Again I've added some of each of the colours to the palette tile and I'm starting with Hazel Knight and I'm just going to add some random blob areas is what I call them. It doesn't have to be perfect which is why this is such an easy nail design to do and I'm also going to be adding some small little dots as well. When I've added everything I will then give a full cure. 
So the other things you can do with a stripe liner brush is drag marbling, geometric designs and even shapes. So plenty of different nail art designs to be created. And just like the detailer brush, the stripe liner brush is a must have brush in anyone's nail collection. So once I've cured hazelnight, I'll then come in with black heart and I'll create C shapes around hazelnight. Now this design would look great matte as well, but I wouldn't use hazelnight, maybe chocolate melt instead. And that's because of the shimmer in it. But animal print is a very popular nail art to create and if you wanted a different animal go with a white gel polish base like coconut and then add black heart as your color blobs for cow nails so just like the detailer brush the stripe liner brush was very easy to use it's 12 millimeter brush length is really nice length of brush for a liner brush as sometimes they can be longer and harder to have control over but this is a really nice brush to use Next, I'm gonna share two designs using the angle brush. Not a style of brush I use a lot of, and I'm gonna start with something very easy. My rubber base coat has been applied, and I'm going to use this gorgeous color called Black Cherry, and I'm gonna apply a nice even coat to the whole nail. So an angled brush is great for cleaning up around the nail. Because this brush is small and of the angle of the brush, it can really get into them tight and close spaces. I do use an angle brush for cleaning up, but it is quite large, so I'm this is going to be an ideal brush for me. And I'm just using gel cleanser to clean around the nail. You could also use isopropyl alcohol as well. Now, a cleanup brush is a must-have brush in anyone's nail brush collection. Again, just like the detailer brush, when I went in to make the black nail look much neater, using the angle brush for cleaning up around the nail will also make the nail look so much better as well. And again, we can do this on every layer of gel polish from the base coat to the color and top coat. Now, the thing with gel polish is where gel polish has been before, it will go again even if it's been cleaned up. So making sure everything is neat and tidy is the key. And we don't want gel on our skin when it goes into the lamp, as that is just gonna cause lifting and cause other issues we just do not need. I love how small the angle brush is because getting into them tight spaces can sometimes be hard, but this brush made it effortless. Now I will be getting a second set so that I can have one for cream gel polishes and then one for glitter because sometimes I can't always get every bit of glitter out of the brushes. Black Cherry is a gorgeous color though. This looks absolutely beautiful. The second design I'm going to do is a smile line design, again with the angle brush. Now, you can do a French smile line, but I'm going to do a chevron one instead. I've used the base color of pink tint, a pale nude with a shimmer, and I'm gonna be using bridal red again to create the smile line. Now, with a pencil, I'm going to make three very small faint marks one directly in the middle of the free edge nail and then one either side and this is going to be how high the wings of the smile line are going to be the red will cover over these marks but this is going to give me a nice area a guide to work within so with the angled brush and bridal red i'm going to use the angle of the brush to create the smile line now this isn't something i do i don't think i've ever created a smile line with gel polish before. So again, if I can achieve this, so can you. Now you can also do one stroke designs with angled brush. This is a technique that is something I will never do, but it does look amazing though. Now, did you know that Kiki London have a YouTube channel as well? The lovely Amanda from Enchanted Nails by Amanda has recently started sharing designs and helpful videos over there. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Go over and check out her work. It really is stunning and I'm sure she'll be sharing these brushes as well and more than likely doing different things with the brushes. So even more tips and tricks. She also has her own YouTube channel as well for nails. And again, I'll leave a link in the description box. So go over and say hello. So even though I'm not great at nail art, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I love the nude and red together. And when it's top coated, it looks even better. I'm really pleased with this. 
Next I'm going to be sharing two designs using the round brush. Again this style of brush is a must have. So my base colour is baby pink, a beautiful pale pink colour and I'm going to be using the brush to create a marble. So the other colours I'm going to be using are French white and I'm just going to add little beads of the colour to the palette tile along with glisten up which is a gorgeous shimmer pink i love putting shimmer colors into marbles and then we have popping pink for a bit of bright pink to this marble so i'm going to use the round brush to gently mix the three colors together but i don't want to over mix i do prefer to make more color than i need so that i don't have to try to recreate it again some might call it a waste but i personally don't so using the round brush I'm going to scoop up some of the mixed colour and lay the brush flat down onto the nail and then move the brush away leaving the gel mix behind and I'll just repeat this over the nail until I'm happy with how the nail looks. I'll also use the round brush to blend out some of the colour as well. I have shared marble designs here before on my channel, they're very easy to create and adding some shimmer is really effective. It sort of gives the whole nail a sparkly look. Now I will say that I don't have many round brushes this small, so it's nicer to use a smaller brush, especially if your nails are small. I know that I'll be picking up a few of these when I get a second set. So when it comes to curing, I will cure a marble for longer because I want the gel polish mix to be completely cured. Now when I finished, I saw this marble next to black cherry. I thought it would make a gorgeous money. And I'm definitely thinking about doing that because this marble is stunning. And again, the round brush was so nice to use. And I love that I don't have caps rolling around everywhere and I know where they are. The next design is again something I've shared on my channel before and that's encapsulating glitter. So the base gel polish colours for this design is blue navy and I just applied one coat and then over the top of blue navy I added disco blue which is a glitter gel polish. So with glitter sometimes they need encapsulating because the bits of glitter can make the nail a bit lumpy bumpy and we can then smooth it out. So using the Kiki London Easy Build Up Builder Gel in Crystal Clear, I've added a bead to the palette tile. Now with the round brush when applying the Builder Gel, it worked so well around the cuticle area because the brush is small. It fitted around the area and side walls and I could get much closer, which is great for a smooth nail bed application. Now you could also use the, a round brush for covering larger areas with colour, using the round brush from gel polish to gel enhancement. You could even use it for smile lines as well instead of the angled brush, really makes this a must have brush. When doing enhancements or encapsulating with builder gel, don't let the brush lose contact with the builder gel, it will create air bubbles. Now you can go in and remove the tacky layer from the builder gel, which I will say is super tacky, and then use the Kiki London files and buffers, refine the nail. I didn't with this nail, I felt it didn't need it, so I just went in with the no wipe top coat to finish off the nail. As I said, I'm gonna be getting a few of these brushes. Now, some might think that they are a little pricey. I personally don't. I will give the advice that sometimes you have to pay a little extra to get better quality products. Yes, you can buy cheap brushes, but they won't last as long. And Kiki London makes such amazing products. I know everyone will love these brushes. Next I'll be sharing two designs using the ombre brush. So my base colour for the ombre is going to be Coral Whip and I've already applied one coat just so that I can get a good cuticle area. And then the next colour is going to be Wine With Me. These two colours sit next to each other in my nail chart book and they looked stunning side by side and that's why I chose them. So I like to for ombres to add a small bead of each of the colour to the palette just in case I need any extra. Now I'm not good at ombres, no matter which way I try, I never get it to look nice. So I'll add to the top half of the nail Coral Whip and then to the bottom half of the nail Wine With Me, meeting the two colours in the middle, making sure to check my brushes before putting them back into the bottle.
So the two ways I see a lot is to take the brush across the nail side to side but then I've also seen feathering the gel polish down the nail. So I'm going to try to ombre these two colours together. Now this won't be the brush that's at fault, it's me. Ombres and me have never got on but I will be sharing a different way of using the ombre brush in the next design. So if you have any tips and tricks on ombres I would love to hear them in the comments below. So the difference between ombres and gradients, it's the same method, you can also do it vertically as well, but with ombres it's using the same colour shade, so for example dark grey to light grey to white would be an ombre, what I'm actually doing is a gradient using completely different colours like yellow and green, pink and grey, coral whip and wine with me. I know a lot of people get confused which is which. Now I will always give ombres and gradients longer curing time using the Kiki London 96 watt UV LED lamp. Gel polishes I usually cure for 30 seconds but sometimes like this it would be 60 seconds. Now if at the end your ombre or gradient didn't quite turn out how you would like it, you could add some glitter over the top like this one. This is Techno Wave and would look amazing with Coral Whip and Wine With Me. So for the second design with the ombre brush, the base colour I'm using is Zesty Blue. This is just one coat. Zesty Blue has amazing coverage, just like Blackheart and a few others. So on my palette, I have a small bead of the rubber base coat. This is my favourite base coat to use. And I'll also be using this raw glitter mix as well. And I'm also going to be using a silicone tool. This isn't a Kiki London product though. So I'll apply a layer of the rubber base coat to the whole nail even though it's going to be a glitter fade. Now I won't be curing this just yet, I want to add the raw glitter into the rubber base coat. So picking up a small bead of the rubber base coat on the silicon tool, I'll pick up some of the raw glitter and add this to the nail and I'll move the glitter about a little. Now again I have done this a few times in videos here on my channel, I feel it creates a beautiful glitter fade and once I've applied the glitter I'll then use the ombre brush and begin to feather it about over the nail and then down the nail. I found that using the ombre brush to feather the glitter about because we don't want it all in one place, it creates the most easiest way of creating a glitter fade and this will work with all types of glitters from super fine, multi cut and chunky. Now again I will cure for longer and then I'll encapsulate but I won't include that as it's the same as the other blue nail but this glitter and gel polish go so well together. So what do you think of the Pro Range brush set? Will you be getting it? Have you already ordered it? Or is it on your wish list? I'd love to hear in the comments below. For me, the only two things I can see I'm a little concerned about is how long will the brushes stay matte for using obviously gel products? And also if the cap ends on the brushes will make the writing fade. Other than that, these brushes are absolutely gorgeous. Let your creativity run wild with the new Pro Range brushes from Kiki London. All of my swatches will be over on my Instagram page in the next few days along with what products I've used. There is a link in the description box below. If you do come over and see my posts and you like them, please give them a like as well. I'd be really grateful. Thank you for viewing my product review on the Kiki London Pro Range brush set. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also, don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glitter Shine Nails. So until next time, thanks for watching and bye.